I was a private chef on luxury yachts. Now I am feeding people who really need help during the lockdown. Thanks ladies, woo! We have noticed an increase in numbers due to coronavirus. If we weren't providing this service, I actually have no idea what they'd be doing. All of the places in the local area are shut. There isn't anywhere else. Before the lockdown, we had at least 10 volunteers and we were serving 80 to 100 guests. If you told me a few weeks ago that we'd be doing a takeaway service of lunch and breakfast for 150 people every single day with a team of four, I would have laughed at you. Last year, I'd volunteered at the soup kitchen a few times and I thought that I would spend a few months here. I honestly can't even imagine myself ever leaving here now. I left home quite young and went to work on yachts. I was able to be really creative and cook exactly what I wanted to cook. I always felt that something was missing, I guess. Essentially, just hold it and film me from like a distance. What's that? It's on a Thursday morning that the van will arrive and I'll see what's there. And sometimes you'd get a few crates of carrots and you know you're going to be cooking carrots for the next few weeks or lots of bananas. You'd be happy about this, babe. Love a banana for our guests. <laughs> All of this is rescued foods. I feel really motivated to try and give them the best meals with what I'm given. We've got loads of potatoes on the side of that. Uh, some stewing beef. So we're gonna sear that off and then start braising it. It's honestly taken us since, since people essentially started panic buying toilet paper to figure out how to do this in the safest, most efficient way to make sure that everybody's getting fed. We've provided everyone with packs of gloves, masks, everybody wears aprons, everybody religiously washes their hands. We only allow one guest in at a time. They come in through the gate, they have some hand sanitizer on their hands and then they're handed a bag with a takeaway meal. These are people that don't have any other options and it's our responsibility as a community to be able to provide for them and to take care of them. Everything that they cook here is just like mom made. I hope that this time will help people to be a bit more kind, a bit more thoughtful, to just be a bit more grateful for everything that you do have because you don't know what could happen. So, yeah. <laughs> you cried too. <laughs> We're just about to start potting up. You guys know the drill. Is everybody ready? Woo! Thank you. What I realized is that when you think that there's nothing positive in a situation, all you have to do is kind of take a step back and see that the kindness of other people is what's helping you to just like make a difference.